Are you feeling like you have a negative attachment or negative entities are constantly attacking you? I've been there. I've been through that. And in this video, I'm going to tell you how I handle those types of situations when I come across these entities that I judge or label as being negative. It could be very scary. It could bring up this fear response. And it could actually prevent you from opening up to the information, to the consciousness that rests just beyond the doorway that these negative entities seem to be blocking you from walking through. So throughout my journey, I've had experiences um, early on, especially when I was getting in tune with the Galactic Federation, I had experiences where I would wake up in the middle of the night and I would have I remember one, I had shadow beings standing over my bed, and they were dark, they were they had red eyes. And as soon as I um, became aware of them, and they recognized that I was awake and that I was looking at them, I remember one of them, there were three of them, one of them in the middle reached out to me. And that was a very frightening experience. Now, right away, when I came across that energy, it brought up fear, and the fear came out not so much because of the entities or their behavior, they were just standing there, but it was my beliefs about what was happening that created that negative or that fear experience. Now, when our higher selves, when our guides, even the Galactic Federation, if you're in communication with them, they will come through and there's gonna be programming or layers of density in the way. Now, in order for you to clear your channel and start to open up to the experiences of the light, you need to walk through the darkness that stands in the way. And because we've been programmed throughout our lives with religion and education and maybe stories you've, you've heard or even movies and entertainment and those types of things, they've created narratives in your head around what these negative entities are and what they're trying to do. Religion is a very big uh, contributor to that. It creates a lot of fear around entities that we judge to be negative. I have shadow beings in my house. I see them darting around all the time. The other night, my son actually saw a big white mist walk from my other son's room into the hallway. This was in the middle of the night and into our bedroom. So there's constantly energy moving around. And this energy is a manifestation of of experiences and thought forms. Anytime there's a strong emotional response, it can give rise to a consciousness, to an energy. Now that energy doesn't have a physical body, but yet that energy does have the ability to interact with you because you are conscious, you are consciousness, and this energy is conscious as well. So if you ever go to like a haunted house or you go to like an old hospital or a morgue or things like that, Maybe there were, there were locations where, like battlefields, I just got back visiting my brother and his family. We went down to uh, just south of Nashville, Tennessee, and visited a Civil War uh, grave site. These areas where there were these um, battles carry a lot of dense energy. This dense energy was created or spun off out of the experiences that the people who were in the physical were having, and it created actual thought forms. So it is possible to be able to interact with this energy. You could think of it sometimes as uh, maybe a portal to a different time and a different space, right? Like connecting back to when the Civil War was happening. Or based on your belief, you could be actually interacting with the ghosts from the people who were killed or who died during those times and interacting with them now. It all happens based on what we believe, but nevertheless, nevertheless, these energies are there. Now, when you come in contact with these energies and your field meshes with these energies, whatever you have within you that's in alignment with that energy can come forward. And when that happens, we tend to feel like we're having a negative experience or almost as though we're being attacked. Now, subconsciously, this energy is being activated in your body so we feel like something that is happening outside of our control. So that breeds fear. As soon as we feel like we're losing control 
or that there's something external that is affecting us, that brings up fear. So a lot of times when people are running into these energies and they're manifesting negative experiences from that, that's exactly what's happening, okay? Now we all have this dense energy within us, right? We do have a fight or flight response. It keeps us safe. We all have fear frequencies. They keep us anchored and grounded in the body. And again, they keep us safe. Now, when we encounter some sort of an energy that again, that encounters our field or meshes with our field, it's going to bring forward an opportunity to experience that energy. But right away, the programming gets involved and we start to judge the experience. Now, when that can happen to you, if that does happen to you, what you can do is quickly realize that that is in fact what is happening. That's what I do. When I get into these situations where I encounter these energies, maybe it's in these different spaces or different places physically, and I start to feel that chill, the hair on the back of my neck starts to stand up. I keep it in perspective. I create the space immediately and know that there is an energy here that is bringing something forward within me for me to become aware of. Now, I can choose, and if you're not awake or you haven't really practiced getting aligned, you can unconsciously choose to become that fear, which lowers your frequency, and now you're a match to that energy, and now you can interact with that energy from that frequency's perspective, meaning you're the victim, that's the controller, that's the object or the consciousness that is... Um, creating this fear within you, right? And then we have those experiences like we have a negative energy attachment. Or you can realize that you are encountering a dense frequency that has activated something within you, within your field, and those frequencies have come forward for you to be able to alchemize that energy. So if you can keep your perspective and keep centered when this happens, you can bring it right back to the heart space, reconnect with love, and actually help to release that negative or dense energy that is hanging out as thought form in the environment, okay? Because these energies kind of fragmented off when the people that created them had such a stress or fear response, this energy fragmented off and it became like a living thought form. So these thought forms are constantly resonating at these low frequencies that they've disconnected from the light. So you are now the light to be able to assist them to release, to re, um, re to re become source, to transition back to source, however you want to look at it, okay? So when you're feeling controlled, when you're feeling attacked, these energies are simply just experiencing your light. They are looking for you to do something that they can't. Okay, you have the physical body, you're connected with your higher self, you have the ability to ground and anchor into the planet and get that energy flowing. So you connect with your heart space, you ground that energy, you get it flowing, you raise your vibration in the midst of that fear, and you will be able to assist in alchemizing this dense energy that's been left behind. Okay, so you have a very powerful role to play in essentially sweeping through this reality. And that's what I do. So when I experience this energy, I bring it back to the heart space. I breathe with it. I quickly maintain or regain control of my consciousness, of my awareness. And I become present and realize that this is just dense energy hanging in my environment. It is showing me something within me that needs my awareness. So it comes up. And I release it. And by doing that, I change the entire field of that space around me. Now, when that federation started to come through and I woke up in the middle of the night with these three energetic beings, these dark beings, my mind quickly could have gone into the fact that maybe I was being attacked or maybe these were some sort of evil entities. And it was scary, but I sat, I closed my eyes, I sat and I breathed into my body and I relaxed myself and it simply started to lift. The next morning, my guide indicated to me that that was a clearing process so that the Federation 
could come in more wholly as, you know, whole, okay, whole, wholesomely, and that I'd have a better connection with them. So it was an opportunity for me to heal density within my body, clear my channel so that I could have a clear communication with the Galactic Federation, release any programming around what communicating with higher dimensional beings looked like in terms of, you know, we have religious connotations and things like that. So it was an opportunity for me to let go of that and realize that I am in control over how I feel at any given moment. So that is how I handle these situations where the hair on the back of your neck starts to rise, where you start to get goosebumps, you start to feel something's a little off. Remember, your mind wants to create a story around it based on what it's learned. A lot of that, again, goes back to religion. But if you could quickly create that space, bring your consciousness forward and connect with your heart, start breathing into the body, you will realize that you are being shown not only an opportunity to expand your consciousness, but help heal these energetic thought forms that were created from trauma. You are such a powerful being. Bring it back to your body, stand in your light, and change the world. If this video resonated with you, watch this one next. Thank you so much.